really is challenging to uh, to sort of fund these studies, given that it, it really needs to be private, privately funded at this point, and uh, we're not quite ready yet to have it be federally funded. It's uh, challenging with all the different studies uh, to continue to get um, the funds. W w and um, tell us again, Steve, w why at this point it needs to be privately funded? Why, why, why do you find yourself in that situation with this well, regarding this research? The, the history is interesting. When um, LSD was first made available and made by Sandoz Pharmaceuticals, they sent it to psychiatric researchers throughout the world, including the United States. And uh, many of the original studies with LSD in the 50s and 60s were federally funded. So the Spring Grove study was a federally funded, United States government funded study. So that was the sort of beginning history of it. And that's really where we need to get back to because to to really bring a drug to market in terms of drug development, you need to do a uh, large phase three study. And for that to happen, um, they're very, very expensive. And really, only the pharmaceutical industry or federal government funding would be enough to make that happen. So eventually, if psilocybin were to ever be a drug that would be effective enough for an indication, let's say, anxiety associated with terminal mm -hmm. cancer or mm -hmm. psychic distress so associated with terminal cancer, uh, you privately probably couldn't get enough money to fund it. And so we're sort of, uh, the preliminary studies and in, in the in sort of initiation um, to get it off the ground has been privately funded. Um, mm -hmm. But that, that can't continue.